you are watching my perfect doggy. Our goal is to give our viewers our best information about every dog breed. Ever wonder what it would be like to own a certain dog? Subscribe to my perfect doggy and you won't have to wonder. The Gordon Setter is a beloved but often overlooked breed that has some truly fascinating qualities. With its noble and dignified presence, this unique dog stands out among its peers with a combination of regal beauty and intelligence. If you've ever been intrigued by the Gordon Setter or are considering bringing one home, then you're in luck. My Perfect Doggy presents 10 interesting facts about these wonderful dogs that will make you fall in love with them even more than you already have. And we will be answering the most popular questions about this breed so make sure to stick around. Are you looking for a funny and lovable pup who loves to play and has lots of energy? Meet the Gordon Setter the goofiest of the Setter breeds. Before we start we would like to take a second to express our thanks to all the Gordon Setter's owners. This video would not have been possible without them, so don't forget to check out their Instagram profiles and send some love. All of their links are in the description below. Here are the top 10 facts of the Gordon Setters. 10 named after Alexander, 4th Duke of Gordon. Now, you might be wondering, who on earth is the 4th Duke of Gordon and why did they get a dog breed named after them? Well, it all goes back to 19th century Scotland, where the Duke was busy developing the breed we now know and love as the Gordon Setter. While it's largely agreed that Alexander Gordon didn't discover the breed, there were black and tan dogs in the neighborhood of his Gordon Castle for centuries before he was born. He did help start the breed on its journey into purebred status. The Duke's dogs were well regarded for their stamina, able to work from early morning to well into the afternoon without respite. 9. The Original Pointing Dog The Gordon Setter was originally used for setting, or pointing, game birds. You see, hunting dogs have been used for centuries to help humans find and capture game for food, and the Gordon Setter is no exception. When a hunter releases the Gordon Setter to search for game, the dog uses its keen senses and training to locate the birds. Once found, the Gordon Setter will point at the birds with its nose and tail, indicating to the hunter where they are hiding. But the Gordon Setter's job doesn't end there. These dogs are also trained to flush the birds out of hiding, either by barking or physically driving them out. And once the birds are in the open, the Gordon Setter will stand still and point at them again, allowing the hunter to take aim and capture their prey. And while hunting may not be for everyone, it's certainly an important part of the Gordon Setter's history. 8. Great Work Dog These loyal companions are known for their strong work ethic and are often used as search and rescue dogs, therapy dogs, and guide dogs. The Gordon Setter is a breed that is known for its intelligence, trainability, and strong work ethic, making it a natural choice for a variety of important jobs. And while these dogs are certainly capable of working hard, they are also known for their affectionate and loyal nature making them great companions and helpers to humans. One great example of the Gordon Setter's work ethic is in search and rescue. These dogs are often used by organizations like the Red Cross and other emergency services to locate missing people, especially in the aftermath of natural disasters. With their keen senses and training, Gordon Setters are able to locate and alert their handlers to the presence of missing people, often saving lives in the process. Another example of the Gordon Setter's versatility is in therapy work. Whether they're providing comfort to someone in need or just being a friendly face to brighten someone's day, the Gordon Setter is a valuable asset in therapy work. The Gordon Setter is also used as a guide dog for people with visual impairments. With their intelligence, trainability, and strong work ethic, these dogs are able to assist their handlers in navigating their environment and completing daily tasks giving them a greater sense of independence and freedom. So, as you can see, the Gordon Setter is a breed that is not only loyal and affectionate, but also has a strong work ethic and is capable of performing a variety of important jobs. Whether they're working hard on the hunt, helping to locate missing people, or providing comfort and assistance to those in need, 
The Gordon Setter is a truly valuable and versatile breed. 7. Above Average Intelligence Now, when it comes to intelligence, it's important to note that all dogs are intelligent in their own way and have their own unique abilities. However, the Gordon Setter is definitely known for its quick learning and ability to perform a variety of tasks. In fact, the Gordon Setter ranks relatively high on lists of the most intelligent dog breeds. They rank 34th in Stanley Corrin's The Intelligence of Dogs, the same rank as Field Spaniel, American Staffordshire Terrier, and Bearded Collie which makes them above average working obedience intelligence. They can learn new tasks within around 15 exposures, on average. They will usually respond to the first command around 70% of the time. But the Gordon Setter's intelligence doesn't stop there. These dogs are also known for their athleticism and agility, making them popular choices for agility competitions as well. With their speed, coordination, and ability to navigate obstacles, Gordon Setters are able to complete complex agility courses with ease. Quick Quiz Are Gordon Setters the largest dog of the Setter family? A. Yes. B. No. 6. Incredibly Loyal The Gordon Setter is well known for its strong bond with its owners and is known to be very loyal and affectionate. Now, if you're a dog lover, this probably doesn't come as a surprise to you. Most dogs are known for their loyalty and affection towards their owners, and the Gordon Setter is no exception. But what makes the Gordon Setter stand out in terms of its bond with its owners is just how strong that bond can be. These dogs are known for their devotion to their families and will go above and beyond to show their love and affection. Whether it's snuggling up on the couch with you, playing fetch in the park, or just being by your side, the Gordon Setter is a breed that is always there for its family. Gordon Setters are also known for their calm and dignified demeanor, making them great companions for families with children. Whether they're playing with the kids or just providing a calming presence in the home, the Gordon Setter is a breed that is sure to bring joy and companionship to any family. So, if you're looking for a loyal and affectionate companion that will always be by your side, the Gordon Setter is definitely a breed to consider. With its strong bond and loving nature, this breed is sure to bring joy and companionship to your life. 5. High Maintenance The Gordon Setter is a bit higher maintenance than the average dog. The Gordon Setter has a long and thick coat that requires regular grooming to maintain its appearance. Now, if you're familiar with long-haired breeds, this probably doesn't come as a surprise to you. Most breeds with long coats, such as the Afghan Hound or the Lhasa Apso, require regular grooming to keep their fur looking its best, and the Gordon Setter is no exception. But what sets the Gordon Setter apart in terms of grooming is just how thick and lush its coat is. With its long, silky hair and dense undercoat, the Gordon Setter's coat is truly a sight to behold. However, all that thick fur does require some maintenance to keep it looking its best. So, what does grooming a Gordon Setter involve? Well, it's important to brush the breed's coat regularly to remove tangles and mats and to keep it looking shiny and healthy. It's also a good idea to give the breed a bath every few months, using a high-quality dog shampoo to keep its skin and coat in good condition. In terms of trimming, the breed's coat does not require regular trimming, but it's a good idea to have it trimmed by a professional groomer every few months to keep it looking its best. And, as with any breed, it's important to keep the Gordon Setter's nails trimmed and its ears clean to prevent any health issues. However, the end result is definitely worth it. With its thick, lush coat and striking black and tan coloration, this breed is sure to turn heads wherever it goes. So, if you're up for the challenge of grooming a long-haired breed, the Gordon Setter might just be the perfect fit for you. For health issues, it's important to note that all breeds of dogs can be prone to certain health issues, and the Gordon Setter is no exception. However, with proper care and attention, many of these health issues can be managed or prevented. One health issue that is common in the Gordon Setter is hip dysplasia, a condition in which the hip joint is malformed and causes pain and difficulty moving. 
This condition can be inherited and is more common in larger breeds like the Gordon Setter. It's important to have your Gordon Setter checked for hip dysplasia by a veterinarian and to manage the condition with medication and surgery if necessary. Another health issue to be aware of in the Gordon Setter is eye problems. These dogs are prone to a variety of eye issues, including cataracts, glaucoma, and retinal dysplasia. It's important to have your Gordon Setter's eyes checked regularly by a veterinarian and to manage any eye issues that may arise. The Gordon Setter is also prone to thyroid issues, which can cause weight gain, lethargy, and other problems. It's important to have your Gordon Setter's thyroid levels checked regularly by a veterinarian and to manage any thyroid issues with medication if necessary. When getting a Gordon Setter it's important to choose a reputable breeder and to have regular checkups with a veterinarian to ensure the health and well-being of your Gordon Setter. 3. Relatively rare. The Gordon Setter is relatively rare in America, with only a few thousand registered each year in the United States. They are ranked 113th on American Kennel Club most popular dog breed list. While it's certainly not the rarest breed out there, it's definitely that bit harder to come by than some of the more popular breeds. It's undoubtedly a breed that is worth looking for. Think about it when you see a Gordon Setter out and about, you can't help but stop and take a second look. 2. Independent Thinkers The thing to consider with Gordon Setters is that they can be independent thinkers and may require firm training to ensure they follow commands. Now, it's important to note that all dogs are individuals and will have their own unique personalities and characteristics. However, it is true that the Gordon Setter, like many other intelligent breeds, can be prone to being independent thinkers and may require a bit more training and patience to ensure they follow commands. One way to train a Gordon Setter to follow commands is to use positive reinforcement techniques, such as rewarding the dog with treats or praise when it performs a desired behavior. It's also important to be consistent with training and to establish yourself as the leader of the pack. However, it's also important to be patient with your Gordon Setter and to remember that they are intelligent dogs. With patience and consistency, you can help your Gordon Setter become a well-trained and obedient companion. Back to the quiz. If you guess A. Yes, the Gordon Setter is the heaviest and largest of the setters. Pat yourself on the back. You are correct. 1. Loves being active. This furball enjoys a variety of activities and is well suited for a variety of sports and activities. Now, if you're an active person, this might be just the breed for you. One popular activity that Gordon Setters enjoy is agility. With their athleticism, coordination, and ability to navigate obstacles, Gordon Setters excel at agility courses and are a popular choice for agility competitions. Another activity that Gordon Setters enjoy is flyball. This high-energy sport involves a team of dogs racing to retrieve a ball from a spring-loaded box and returning it to their handlers as quickly as possible. With their speed and athleticism, Gordon Setters are well suited for flyball and are a popular choice for flyball teams. Of course, it's important to note that the Gordon Setter was originally bred as a hunting dog, and many of these dogs still enjoy the thrill of the hunt. Whether they're searching for game birds or just chasing after a ball or toy, Gordon Setters are known for their love of the chase. But the activities that Gordon Setters enjoy aren't limited to just sports and games. These dogs are also known for their love of long walks, runs, and hikes, making them great companions for outdoor enthusiasts. So, as you can see, the Gordon Setter is a breed that is well suited for a variety of activities and sports. Whether they're competing in agility competitions, playing flyball, or just enjoying a long walk or hike, these dogs are sure to have a great time doing what they love. I hope our list of the top 10 intriguing facts about the Gordon Setter was helpful. Along with our top 10, I'll attempt to address popular questions about this breed. Are Gordon Setters good guard dogs? Gordon Setters are generally not considered to be good guard dogs. While they may be alert and protective of their families, 
they are not typically aggressive or territorial by nature. They may bark to warn you if someone is coming, but once they have been invited into the house, they are frequently friendly to aloof with guests. They may make good watchdogs, but they are too amiable to be guard dogs. If you are looking for a guard dog, stick with the old and trusted reliables such as German Shepherds, Rottweilers, or Doberman Pinchers. What are Gordon Setters like as puppies? A Gordon would probably live forever as a puppy if given his way. This slow-growing breed frequently reaches its physical prime between the ages of four and six years old and continues to behave like a puppy well into its second year. Gordon puppies need early obedience training to focus their active and vivacious energies in the proper directions. Although they are easily bribed and eager to please, they do not respond well to harsh training methods. However, with the right approaches, they can be properly trained without losing their good nature. Are Gordon Setters good apartment dogs? Gordon Setters are not typically well suited to living in an apartment, as they are a large breed that requires plenty of exercise and space to run and play. They are energetic dogs that need daily walks and outdoor playtime, and they are not well suited to a sedentary lifestyle. While it is possible to keep a Gordon Setter in an apartment if you are able to provide sufficient exercise and stimulation, they are generally happier and healthier when they have access to a yard or other outdoor space where they can run and play. If you live in an apartment and are considering a Gordon Setter as a pet, it is important to carefully consider whether you will be able to meet their exercise and space needs. Are Gordon Setters good with other dogs? Gordon Setters can be good with other dogs, but like all breeds, they can vary in their individual personalities and socialization experiences. Some Gordon Setters may be more social and friendly with other dogs, while others may be more reserved or even aggressive. It is important to socialize a Gordon Setter with other dogs from a young age to help them develop positive social skills and to prevent fear or aggression towards other dogs. This can be done through early exposure to a variety of other dogs in controlled and supervised settings, such as puppy classes or playgroups. It is also important to remember that even well-socialized Gordon Setters may still exhibit some dominance or territorial behavior, especially if they feel threatened or challenged by another dog. It is important to be attentive to your dog's body language and to intervene if necessary to prevent any potential conflict or aggression. In general, it is a good idea to be cautious when introducing a new dog to any household, and to take the time to carefully observe their behavior and interactions with other pets before allowing them to interact unsupervised. You made it. Thank you for staying around with us till the end. If you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And make sure to check out our other videos. Maybe we will help you find your perfect doggy. See you in the next video.